hello and welcome back to the Autumn Acorn Knits. My name is Judy and this is episode 71. I come to you monthly to share with you what I've been knitting and what I have finished knitting, what I am working on, um, what I've been dyeing, sometimes crocheting, and all of the other happenings here around the log cabin that I live in with my husband Joe and our black cat Meryl in the woods of New Hampshire. Welcome! Today I have for you some finished objects, works in progress, a couple of acquisitions, pattern release, and some chatter. So I hope you'll get cozy and let's get started. Oh, I'm drinking water today. I hope you'll get yourself a drink and join me. I've got my notes because I really want to stay on task today. So if you see me glancing down, oh, and I'm also coming to you from a brand new location. Uh, if you're, <laughs> if you're curious, I am in my closet right now. Yes, this is my closet. Um, it adjoins the bathroom and you may have already seen the little vlog that I put out recently showing you the transformation of this closet into this cozy sewing nook. And I thought, well, why not podcast from here once in a while as well? And I thought today would be a perfect day to start. So here I am coming to you from my cozy closet sewing nook. Why don't we start with what I'm wearing? So today I'm wearing my newly finished Felix cardigan. What can I tell you about this cardigan? I love the way it fits. I love the way it feels. It's lightweight. Um, I love the process of knitting. It was very fun. It's done on larger needles, so it's quick. The lace was easy. The lace, you know, on the raglan increases was easy to do. Um, I just, I really enjoyed it, and I feel like the fit is really perfect. And if I get a chance I'll put some footage in of me wearing this uh, cardigan, but I haven't even blocked it yet. I just was so excited to to put it on and yeah, I haven't taken it off since, but it is lovely to wear, especially in the morning when it's cool here in New Hampshire because fall is here for sure. So what can I tell you about this sweater? I used some yarn that was traded. Um, so I went to a knitting retreat in Maine in September and there was a trade table where you bring yarn and you take yarn with, you know, you bring yarn to leave and then you can take something with you. And there was a sweater's quantity of this really nice yarn. I've talked about this before. It's, it's a 60% fine llama and a 40% silk yarn by Plymouth. I wasn't sure when I saw the yarn at the retreat, I knew I immediately loved the color, but I just wasn't sure how this was going to knit up. I was concerned, to be honest. I thought it would feel ropey. It is far from it. It is lovely and soft, and I, I've never, never worked with llama, but I am a fan so far. And the silk, of course. Silk is just luxury. Joe and I went to our local charity shop recently, and the day after I finished casting off this sweater, I found this dress at the charity shop, and it has the same exact shade of blue, plus I love the neckline. Not so much a stripes girl, but I thought, it, it'd be, I don't know, I thought it worked. I thought it worked, and I was so excited to, to find that as a side note. So the Felix Cardigan is by Savory Knitting. Uh, I used US 8 for the uh, ribbing and US 10 for the body. I knit size 1, but I did make some adjustments to size 2 as I needed them. And this cardigan took me 15 days to complete. Oh, I used, I started with 11 skeins and I now have four left over. So it took seven and these are 50 grams, 102 yards each. So not a lot of yarn to knit this. And oh, 
I love it so much. So I think what I'm going to do is use this leftover to knit my granddaughter Blakey a cardigan or a pullover because she has those beautiful blue eyes and I just think it would be stunning on her. So yeah, I really enjoyed this this pattern. This was a paid for pattern. It was $7. And that's all I've got to say about it. It it was just such a delight um, to knit. Savory Knitting is also known, um, I should say, Amy Christoffers is the knitwear designer behind Savory Knitting, in case you're, you're wondering. Now, let's move on to my next finished object. So I was working on this the last couple of times that I podcast, and this yarn that I got from Hobby over a year ago, um, and it was gifted to me, I could not find the perfect pattern for the yarn. This is their hobby, hobby rather, Tweed Delight, and I tried several different sweater patterns, and nothing was perfect for it. Uh, then I decided to go back in my old pattern collection and I found the Hyla sweater or pullover. Um, and that was by September Knits. And I thought I would give it a try, but as I was knitting it, it the original Hyla has cables in it. It's a top-down raglan pullover with um, with cables. And I just wasn't feeling the cables, wasn't in the mood. They're beautiful, but I wasn't in the mood. So I changed the cables to just stockinette. Everything else I kept pretty much, pretty close to the pattern. I don't know. It's mostly a modification of the pattern, I've got to say. But it is finished. Um, here is my version. And I just love, love it so, so, so much. It is such a pretty color. I think the color is called clay. I'll put all the information in the show notes. Anything I talk about today, you will always find in the show notes below. So go have a look. But um, this was so much fun. And oh, I modified the sleeves heavily. So the sleeves would have had decreases tapering down to the cuff, and I did not decrease anything. Uh, I just did a stockinette with a few rounds of garter to break it up. And I really love it. I put short rows in the back neck area, and now I just want like a bunch more <laughs> because I love it that much. And it was that fun to knit. Again, larger needles, uh, garter stitch top down like seamless just the perfect perfect project for me and I'm so happy that the uh, hobby yarn finally found its, its home in this sweater and I'm going to enjoy this one my collection for years to come I can just tell it's very very soft see if there's anything else I want to tell you about the Hyla. I told you it's by September Knits. Rachel Reese is the designer. I knit size one. Uh, I used 1,090 yards of Hobby Tweed Delight, color 14. I used a US 8, which is 5 millimeter for the body, and a 5, US 5, which is 3.75 millimeters for the ribbing. Um... And it took me 37 days to complete. Not bad. So yeah, that's my second finished object. This year I wanted to do a little bit of test knitting. And I just recently decided this. I think I was talking about it uh, in September, maybe. So I got on some mailing lists for some designers and I've been checking on Instagram and just, you know, seeing where, where I want to go with this. But I really want to try to help others in the community, especially knitwear designers, by testing some designs because I'm so grateful to anyone who ever tests mine that I just want to get back a little. So um, 
Jessie of Jessie Designs was asking for test knitters for her new beanie hat pattern called the Sophia Beanie. So I jumped on and was luckily accepted to the test knit and got started right away as soon as Jessie sent me over the pattern. So that's what I want to share with you next. This is a beautiful pattern for a beanie. Jessie has so many pretty beanie designs in her repertoire of patterns. Um, I actually ordered a, a completed finished beanie from Jessie long, long ago, some years ago, and I, I absolutely treasure it. So every so often she will release finished um, objects, I guess you could call it. You know, she's made some Sophie scarves and a lot of her own designs and hats especially. Here it is. Jessie always has the, the most beautiful photos too. I'm always envious of her photos. But this pattern uses a super bulky weight yarn. I didn't have any super bulky weight in my stash, so I took a couple of strands of worsted held together and then a strand of lace weight. Uh, those three together did help me meet Gage, and I was able to create this beautiful beanie hat with this, with this yarn and this wonderful pattern. This is a bottom-up construction, my favorite construction for hats. Um, oh, I have the itchy nose from the wool start. I'm sorry about that, guys. Let me grab my glasses and tell you a little bit more about this beautiful pattern. All right, so the Sophia hat. For that pattern, you use a US 13 or 9 millimeter and a US 15 10 millimeter needles, respectively. Um, I used Ella Ray Amity in the color 44, which is this pretty pink color, rosy pink color. Here is the tag. This is a 75% superwash, 25% wool yarn that, again, I, I got this from the um, D-Stash table at the retreat that I went to in Maine. And, oh, here is the other yarn that I held with it, which is just a fingering weight um, that I got from a friend, but I'm not sure exactly the uh, brand or the content of that yarn. Here was my cable needle that I used, which made it so much easier. I love this, these curvy ones to hold on the stitches. Look at my giant double points that I ended up using at the end when there were too few stitches. Anyway, this pattern was a delight. There were uh, no issues found with the pattern. It knit up beautifully. No trouble at all. It took me about three days stopping and starting. And the fit is great. So. Stay tuned for that pattern. Jessie will be coming out with it soon. The test knit just finished up, so it was a fun experience for sure. And my last finished object, number four, which is not knitting. I hope you don't mind, but it is a sewing project. Uh, if you are a patron of mine, you have already seen the entire making of these mushrooms um, on a little vlog that I put up on my Patreon page. By the way, you can test my Patreon page for free now for a week, which I think is a really cool feature the Patreon just started offering to anyone who wants to just test out a maker and see what you think of their content. And if you like it, you can stick around for a month or, or more, whatever you want. Okay, so here they are. So I was watching Olesa. I think it's called Olesa House. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her name properly, but I will leave a link below. I, I think you should check out. She has beautiful, peaceful vlogs. And she does a lot of sewing and baking in them. I don't think there's any knitting at all. but. And so um, she offered this free pattern for her sewn mushrooms. And I knew that I had some spare fabric lying around in some linen. 
and then some wool felt fabric. And I thought, well, why don't I try my hand at sewing mushrooms? And before you know it, I ended up with this entire basket of them. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It took me a few days. I, um, you know, I would do like the sewing one day and then the assembly in one day and the stuffing one day and it was so much fun, but I'll just show you a couple of the samples. This one I put some pins in, which I thought was a cute touch. They're quite, quite big. They're quite a good size. And I stuffed them quite firmly with some roving, some wool roving and some wool scraps that I had. Anything I could find, I just stuffed them. I loved this with some thrifted fabric I had purchased. And I just think it's cool how they all look a little bit, a little bit different. There was some stripey fabric I had. And this is really thick canvas for the bottom. Uh, where's that one? I'm going to do this with more of them, but I have a couple in here. Oh, here's one with um, some little lace, a little like lace, I don't know what you want to call it, little lace necklace around it. And I thought that looked really sweet too. So I plan to do more of those. It was such a fun project and easy. Oh, this has just a tan top, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but I have plans for these, so stay tuned. I'm not giving it away right now, but I have plans, and I will absolutely be making more because they were fun and easy, and I think they're super decorative, too, for the fall. That is everything that I have finished uh, so far in the last couple of weeks. But I do have something, something that I am working on and I have a couple of acquisitions to share with you. So I hope you'll stick around. For works in progress, I only have one item today. Yeah, I've been um, very busy doing other things and not as busy knitting just recently. But I do have, and this is, in my beautiful project bag. Links below if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, so I am working on my second pajama cardigan 2.0. This is a pattern that was recently released and um, ah, I had gifted the first version of the 2.0 to my youngest daughter for her birthday and I wanted one for myself. So I've been working on this for quite some time now, just but not a lot at all recently. I've taken a bit of a hiatus, but I uh, just pulled it out again today and I plan to get started on it again. But this is what I have so far. You can see a bit of the texture coming through in the back. And I have started a sleeve. Let me make sure I don't lose my stitches. So this sleeve is, uh, I, I just finished the texture on it and now I'm moving on to the uh, plain stockinette section before I get to the cuff or the thumb hole, depends on what I want to do for this one. So you have an option in the pattern of doing the thumb hole opening for your sleeve or just a t traditional cuff. Here's my little needle felted pumpkin progress keeper that I make or made. I've made quite a few of those. And yeah, so this is raglan, top-down, seamless, built-in button band. And the pattern is available on Ravelry and Etsy if you're interested. Let me tell you a little bit more about this pattern. This is the yarn that I'm using from Plymouth. It's called Sea Isle Cotton, and it's a cotton wool. So lovely to knit with. The softest yarn, like butter, you would never guess that there's any cotton in it. And it's incredible. Highly recommend this. Love the way this is knitting up. <clears throat> Grab my other glasses because the other pair is, it hurts the bridge of my nose. So I have to get those fixed. My real glasses. Um, 
so pajama cardigan I'm knitting the size 2 the color of this yarn is color 15 Gloucester gray um, I knit the ribbing with a US 3 3.25 millimeter needle and the main body is knit with a US 6 4 millimeter body I started on September 1st oh this is a worsted weight design uh, and I started on September 1st so yeah getting there I'm getting there. I'm, like I said, I'm going to pick it up again this afternoon. I have the afternoon free. Once I finish everything else that I have to do this morning, I'm going to work on Jama Cardigan 2.0. It's a fun one. Okay, where are we going next? Let's turn the page. Since we're talking about pattern releases, I'll just quickly show you the Autumn Acorn Blanket was recently released by myself. And I just thought that I'd remind you that it is out and available for purchase. Anyone is into crocheting an unspun wool blanket. It's made with squares, but they're nice and big, so there's not much seaming. And it has this really fun popcorn texture. Uh, I used Newtedon, and this was a colorway called Vervan, which was where these color changing wheels or plates of unspun. So light. That's my favorite part about the Autumn Acorn blanket in unspun. It's so light and airy, it just weighs nothing but so warm. So it's perfect for that. And then the uh, forest mat is coming. I've shown you this many times, but really this time I promise you the pattern will be available on October 22nd. So not that long from now. Um, this Sunday, I'm trying, I'll try to get this video out by Saturday so that you can run over tomorrow and grab this if you'd like. I'll leave a coupon code for you in the show notes. So that's it for any pattern releases that I have coming up. I did want to let you know that my patterns will now be available in German because the lovely Ilona, she is known as the knitting translator on YouTube. She has offered kindly to, um, to help me with that task. So she's already started out with the Ever After dress is now available in German. And she's working on the everyday knit skirt right now and the Kulipa slipover, I believe, is the other one she's getting into in German. So that's fun. Um, next, I wanted to show you a couple of acquisitions that I recently acquired. So I love watching Katie Green of the Green Bean Podcast. Uh, she lives in England and she has a dog named Jack, a little, what is he called? A little terrier of some sort. Maybe he's a wire haired terrier. I'm not sure, but he's adorable. She's adorable. I love to watch them. I've been watching her for years and she's an artist and a knitter and, and a designer. And she came out with a pattern not too long ago. I think it was last year maybe. And I bought it. So while I was on her Etsy site, I love her Etsy site, I also decided I would purchase the, um, the ribbon that she designed herself to go with the, um, the pattern. So I'll start by showing you. And since she's an artist, she does a really beautiful job and she makes her pattern into these like books. They're like works of art. So here is the fairy ring car uh, cardigan pattern. This is the booklet. It has the adult sizes on one side and the children's sizes on the other. And 
I mean, the artwork is incredible. Oh my gosh, I, I wish I could show you more. Here, let me just try to show you this little knitting knitting squirrel. Hold on a minute. I've got to find a way to disguise that part. Look at this. Or no, he's not. Is he a little? He's a fox, I think. Wait. I don't know, but he's adorable. I think he's a squirrel. So cute. But she has all of that sweet artwork in this pattern booklet. She sent this really cool postcard, personalized postcard. And the ribbon. Because this cardigan is steeped, um, you need some ribbon, right, to decorate the button band. So it had to be Katie Green ribbon, obviously. <laughs> and here it is. I bought three yards. I think I'll have plenty. As you can see, that's a good amount of ribbon, but I wanted extra for maybe another project. They're such adorable little woodland illustrations. I just, I just love her artwork. So yes, that was such a thrill to receive in the mail. It took me a while to make the decision because of shipping. So this pattern booklet was only, I believe, eight dollars, like, or eight euros. I don't know. It was so inexpensive for what you get. This thing is thick and. Can you tell like how well made that is? It's incredible. But the shipping, of course, not, not Katie's fault, but that was like 14, so yeah. I paid a lot more for shipping than I did the items, but I'm so happy I did, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. And then I also ordered some linen fabric because I just can't get enough of linen fabric, and it's beautiful, it's a medium weight. Um, I ordered, I think it was two yards or three yards. I can't remember right now, but I'm excited to sew something up with that. It might become uh, more mushrooms. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I am definitely not finished with mushrooms, that's for sure. Oh, something else pretty exciting. Well, I think it's exciting is I did a poll on my Patreon page because I want to design an exclusive Patreon only pattern, knitting pattern, and so I did a poll asking them what design they'd like to see, and the the design with the most votes was a shawl, so ooh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using some of the hand-dyed um, yarns that I send out to patrons every month to design a special patron-only shawl design. Yeah. If that sounds interesting to you and you want to see a video on the process, have a, head over to Patreon and check it out. Future plans. I still have plans to knit a granny square blanket with all of my Knit Picks palette minis. Uh, the fairy ring cardigan will happen. Hopefully it'll be on my needles the next time I podcast. And the seasons cardigan by Ozetta. That was on my plans for last month, and it's still on my plans. I have all of the yarn picked out for that. It will happen. Is that everything I wanted to talk to you about? I believe, I believe, yes. I have some Knit Picks yarn coming in the mail. Should be there now. I'm going to go check it after I film because I am also designing. Well, I can't tell you that. That's actually a secret. Never mind. Never mind. I just, yeah, I can't tell you yet. I almost did. I almost spilled the beans. That would be just like me to spill the beans. So, yeah, everything around here has been awesome. Like I said, the weather is gorgeous. We are in full swing of fall. I pulled out all the knits. Uh, I'm going to be going through all my shawls. I counted them, and I have 25, and I can't wear 25 shawls. I really want to get that down to half. I have eight pegs that hold shawls. I'm 
I mean, it'd be great to have eight, but I don't know if I could get rid of that many, but I would love to get it from 24 to 12. So I have some fun plans in store for giveaways here on this channel for the near future. So come back, subscribe and put that bell notification on if you haven't already. And you might be able to get one of my hand knit shawls. All right, everyone. It was so much fun talking with you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if you did, it would help me tremendously if you would subscribe and, and like and comment. I love to hear from you. I love to chat back and forth. I want to know what you're knitting. I want to know if you've ever transformed your closet into a sewing nook. I want to know everything. I hope you'll share it with me. Talk to you soon, everyone. Bye now.